team committee of MIT Manipal calling me today to meet the lawyers sitting in the lawyers and lawyers sitting in the crowd. And congratulations, MIT Manipal, for your Diamond Jubilee. And it is such a great achievement. I'm married to one of the MIT. So I'm already alive. To start with, my topic is narcissism creates leaders. I know you must be really, really looking into it as a background of criminology, psychology, and victimology. I would like to present you what is narcissism. If we look into it, narcissism is not just a personality we are born with. We are born with four personalities. So we have narcissism, we have emotionally unstable personality, we have a paranoid personality, and we have a predator personality. To give you a quick brief on that, narcissism is just me, only me. So when we're talking about narcissism and we're talking about leaders, I will brief you later. Emotionally unstable personality, the ones who are unstable in their emotions and who are not able to take everything very gracefully. A quick moment, bipolar disorders. So manic and depressive go hand in hand. Paranoid, the ones who keep on checking your phones, who have a cult, religion, who believe in something, but when somebody counters them, they don't like it. So then, this is another problem. They stalk you, they very, very make you very vulnerable. And then, in the last is the predator personality. Those are the ones who are the rapists, murderers. They pray, they wait. So these are the personalities we are born with. But are we all rapists, murderers, or leaders, emotionally unstable? No. We're talking about the extreme. The spectrometer, when it goes into the extreme, one person can have a two combination of personalities, three or four. So you can very well imagine the ones who have four personalities in them. Those are behind bars? No. They are outside the bars. So they're never being caught because they believe that they are the criminals who can never be put behind bars. Now when we talk about narcissism, it is not that right now because what I'm telling you may be looking into the negative side. But for a, being a leader, which I proudly say I am, at the age of 42, married for 22 years, two great kids, 20 and 18. When I look myself back, I know what I've achieved. Married to an MIT and who himself is a leader. So when we look back, what do we look into? We look into the leaders. What is the leaders? And how can narcissism and leaders go hand in hand? So when we look into the narcissism, it's definitely about me. Because if it is not about me, we are not going to stand where we are standing today. I'm not asking you to become a boss. I'm asking you to become a leader. So there's a difference between becoming a boss, because boss gives you orders, and you follow. And leaders, they are the team people. So the leaders, if not have a narcissist personality in them, where it is under the check, because it has both positive and negative impact on you. So, so he is one of our leaders. Thank you. So what we are looking into is, so when we talk about narcissism, we are talking about those personalities who will not ask for no. At any age, at any stage, how you begin is not important. How you close, that's important. So the closure is with the leaders. The leaders are the one who would never ever 
let the other person tell them what to do in life. So the narcissist personality is the one who looks into, understand how they can rise, how they can rise to the top, how with the help of the team they have, they can go ahead. Are leaders born? Or are they learned? Leaders are born with this personality, but an environment nurtures and natures them. If you are not, if you are socioeconomic problem is there, you will there, you will be there, but you will not be having that extreme in you to go ahead and move forward. So there are areas which help you to nurture that personality which is there in you. As I've told, we have all have four personalities in a very, very small manner. But when something triggers, nurtures us, that's become a main personality. So with a leader, they come up with this personality, they move forward, they take this cues from the environment, they say no to it when a lot of people try to pull them down. Because that's the time they tell the all people back, the world back, this is where I belong. So a leader is the one who is born, who is nurtured and natured, who has a personality of narcissism. What you, you have seen Mr. Modi, he's narcissist. He has a narcissist personality. You've seen Mr. Trump. He has a narcissist personality. Indira Gandhi, yes. So you see the leaders who were born Edison, Walt Disney. They were narcissists. Because if you don't have, if you are in an emotionally unstable personality, would you be a leader? No. Because at that time, you will be more considered about your mood. At one time, you're just crying in the other minute. You are giggling. This kind of an environment does not give a leader. Leaders are the one who have established themselves. They know what they want in life, how to go ahead, how to be what they want to be. If they come with these kind of personalities and the domain is in one of them apart from this, they will be a losers. So it is very, very important that the leader should understand that this personality in itself is born with them. Nurture it. Go ahead. We say that hold heart ke ho chikne pa. That's what is the line which we use. Yes, you see it when you are young. So how are leaders take their team forward? As I've seen, Mr. Prabhu, he's a, he's a great leader. And I'm sure when my husband was here, he saw that thing in, in his colleagues. But do you think everybody becomes a, a leader or a businessman or something wherever he leads? What is leader? You see, start from here. And in another five or ten years down the lane, you see yourself here. Because you don't give it up. Because where you study, because the, the community you are in, that doesn't allow you to give it up. But then, if you are not born with that kind of a personality, you will give it up at one time or the other. That's the time we call it as a crisis period. So it is very, very important that when we are looking into a leader's born, how, why, we should understand that what was the point behind this. So if I start something which relates me, why would I call myself a leader? When I just got married, I haven't done my graduation till then. I, I just finished, I was about to finish, and I just got married. Um, in Indian culture, it's the uh, end of a woman's life. A lot of mean people talk about it. In 93, I'm talking, 93, 96. It was like 20 years of age, and they just got married. So how? Why? Is my life brings to an end to me? No. What I am today now, it started in 2007, 12 years down the line, not completing my graduation. 
and wrote a letter to Dean. I said, I want to complete my graduation. I'm nothing without that. A marriage doesn't stop me. Kids doesn't stop me. That's the time when I moved forward. In 2007, taking care of my house all by myself, I had some severe medical issues which allowed me to again think in a, in a very, very important perspective. I was suffering from pituitary adenoma, that is tumor. When I looked into it, everybody thought I would not survive. That's when the leaders who were born, they nurture and nurture themselves. I said, no, I will not take that thing ever in my life. If it is a tumor, I will fight back. That's the time. I said, either I sleep on bed forever, or I'll stand and go ahead. And that is what I did. I started studying again in 2007. And when I started studying again, today is 2017, I did criminology, I did psychology, I finished with that. I did victimology, I became special police officer. My children are so well settled. I'm looking after everything. But there were times when I didn't want it to go ahead. There are around five, five people who are working with me. I consider myself as a leader. Why? Because I never gave up. I didn't want it to give up. Everybody of you sitting here must have something or the other which asks you to pull yourself down. No. We can't pull ourselves down because they are looking up at you. There is something in you which allows you to go ahead. What you see yourself in another 10 years of your life, that's what I saw. Now when I look back, I see myself as a star. Star because I have no competition with the outer world. I have a competition with, me, with myself. I break my own records. I make my own records. At that time, I didn't see how many degrees I'm having. It was the time it was the survival of the fittest. I was going ahead. What come me? So leaders is not a bookish language. Leaders is an experience. When you have an experience, you give it back. Whatever you do, you have workshops. You go there. You work. You have projects. What you see in that room, in your workshop, the problems. Problem is this. 80% Indian culture, Jogar system, they take it out. 20% they actually do it in black and white. And in Japan, in other countries, 80% they do it on the paper and 20% they implement. And what is it? Because even if they fail, we have A, B, C, D with us. So this is, this is a very, very important lesson which we take in life. Do we want to fail? Look around. Pressure us us down, we see narcissist personalities with negative energy and one with positive energy. So there are bosses who are narcissist in nature and they have negative energy. They will pin you down, they will finish you. In a relationship, if you're married to a narcissist person, you have no life. But then, a one with a positive and not in the extreme, who finds himself or herself, yes, I have that sympathy and I have that capability to move on, you will see yourself winning. Experience. Do that. Because what you are standing, next time it's you who would be standing on the dice, talking about your experiences in life. You all are leaders. Why do you think it's called as lion? Can't play. Why we have a lion group? Because... It is the king of the jungle. That's why. Do you ever thought? So when we talk about ourselves, don't demean yourself. We could be going anywhere. A lot of problems. But a leader is the one 
who would take the people along with itself. Because the growth is not for me. I never thought that I want to grow. I always wanted my team to grow with me. So that has always been a major, major thing which I have seen throughout my life. As a woman, in man's world, and in the sector where I am coming from, is all man-oriented. I still survived. We all will. The only thing is, now we have role models. It's very important that that role model is not from Nirbhaya coming out on the night and then you started shouting, no. The role model is from our society, from our home. From the very day when we start understanding ourselves. So we have to make our own history. A history which I remember when I look back and I say, yes, did I accomplish anything in 10 years of my life? So the role model which I carry with my children, my older son is an SP Jan, global <coughs> BBA. And when I saw today, I came here and I saw Manipal, that experience theatre that was there, I was amazed. I was really amazed. And I was telling my husband, come back, look into it. They have already been in Ivy League. And I'm amazed that you all are studying in such an Ivy League. So and I'm, I'm giving my graduate a great audience and a clapping to all of you who are an Ivy League themselves. And when I looked into it, and I was really thinking, what you started and what you are now, that is why you are a leader. There are many other universities who are coming up with you. But there is something we keep on giving back to the world. Anything which is innovative, new, different. Because we all want something different. A lot of people ask me, ma'am, why criminology? They have never heard. Because I was the pioneer, I'm, I'm still a pioneer, an Indian criminal psychologist. I chose this. Why? Because I wanted to show the world that there is something when we can see out of the box. Criminological psychology is outside India. In India, we have no value. So criminology is related to criminal minds. You study. So whenever there is a problem somewhere, the call, the media call us and they ask us. There must be many lawyers. I'm a criminal lawyer also. But when we talk about it, we understand that why me? Take up that responsibility. Channel yourself. Discipline yourself. My house is not a jail system. It's a discipline. Nobody watches you. Who watches you? It's you yourself. Nobody will even ask you what you did. You just want to have to put that thing in your own eyes. We have, I have so many, I have colleagues with me. They all have a history what they started with and what they are today. So they have accomplished something. So never ever ever make yourself die even if something big comes in your way and they try to push you back. The personality in you, you will know that it is there with you, will not let you go away. So nurture it and, na and nature will help you Go ahead and live. Thank you so much. <laughs>